morning bits this side rahul magan here as a group chief executive officer treasury consulting group and also a venture capitalist as usual when we are talking it is 1:30 am in the morning but today i am going to be covering a pretty important topic from indian economy angle and i know that when i'm going to be completing this video many eyebrows as usual awake example yesterday when did we shoot it the video about the quantitative easing model of reserve bank of india i got many messages and many people wrote to me that they even can't assume that this kind of quantitative easing model is being adopted by reserve bank of india and i never you know felt you know i i never felt that such kind of comments will not come because i know that such information never come in public domain the analytical ability of human being is diminishing at a very fast pace the reason is we are surrounded by the media who really not interested to use the analytical ability of the human being rather rather than increasing or abreasting or motivating the analytical ability we are degrading it on a daily basis and today topic is on indian it companies before i start the topic let me tell you that i started my career with scl technologies limited most of the people knows me personally and after that i went to an american setup excel so i know indian it and ites companies very well I know that how they work, how they make their financial statement, how they take the hedging, how they do the costing, everything I know about them. You know, in fact, when we used to collate the information on the finance, I know how it works. Guys, you do not know that when you enter into IT companies, you feel like that they are very big offices, fancy offices and all. but the finance systems of majority of the it companies is worse than a lala company that's reality the finance system of majority of the it and ites companies are worse than lala companies the way they report the financial numbers god knows till what extent the auditors are auditing these financial numbers and till what extent these numbers are completely complied everything is excel excel everything on face these it companies look like they are doing software business they are doing technological business in fact few it companies have robotics in their boardroom you know i got to know that few it companies have installed robotics in their boardroom which means that if you enter in their board room the robotic will welcome you but if you enter the finance department of this it company you will see forget robotics even even you know even for a glass of water you need to go to canteen this is the difference between the finance system of indian it companies and their their apparent outlook i am always when i started my career in 2007 with indian it companies and i still remember Sandeep Gupta used to be our SCL Technologies vice president and I used to be a very small management trainee you know I asked during my induction at that point of time in 2007 before 400 selected management trainees across India that when Sandeep Gupta was boasting that SCL Technologies is having 65000 plus workforce I was I asked a question that why do you need 65000 workforce why do you need it do you really need 65000 workforce and Sandeep Gupta told me that you don't understand information technology few weeks ago Nescom came in public domain and said that if this current situation will continue which would definitely continue guys because now you got to know that guild I have no personal grudges with guild it's a very good pharmaceutical company but just go 3 weeks before there was a euphoria which was well created in the american markets that a covid-19 vaccine is on the way and due to this euphoria on a single day dow jones had it by over 1000 points over 1000 points 
Now, the same public domain information is now suggesting that the guild, whatever vaccine they have, the test on a large scale of people is not materializing the benefits which people envisaged. Although I still believe that it is very early to say whether this vaccine will work or not, but at the same point of time, this raises questions to me, which is known as euphoria. Only on the name of vaccine, the Dow Jones up by 1000. So the question is not vaccine here. The question is that the NESCOM said that if situation do not improve or continue, the Indian IT companies should or will resume the job cuts. But Indian IT companies are already doing their job cuts. Cognizant is cutting the role and today Infosys. Infosys diplomatically came and said that GL7, they have a lot of hierarchy and every organization is having hierarchies, no doubt about that. GL6, 7, 8, above GL7, they are trimming the job. Basically, they are, rather than using a word cutting jobs, they are using a diplomatic word which is known as they are flattening the organization. Excellent. Indian, I, I spent 10 years in Indian IT companies. I know rather than flattening the organization, they make organizations more complicated. Example, I tell you how they make organization more complicated. AVP, Senior AVP, Deputy AVP, VP, VP1, VP2, VP3, Senior VP, Corporate VP, Executive VP, President, Group President, What should be ideal? AVP, VP, President. And what is the scene? I told you. AVP, four level of AVP. Four level of VP, two level of Executive VP and then President. Then how come Indian IT companies even believe that we trust on them? They are not no more flattening the organization. Indian IT companies are known for creating such level of hierarchies in an organization which take the complete life of a human being to reach on the top. Complete life of a human being to reach on the top. But today the point I would like to raise is more severe, is more grimming because everyone know that Indian economy is now a jobless economy. Center for Monitoring and Indian Economy himself confirmed that the unemployment rate in India is over 27%. Employee Provident Fund Organization confirmed that from 1st April 2020, over 2.8 million people withdraw the money from EPFO rather than depositing it. And Center for Monitoring Indian Center for Monitoring Indian Economy did confirm that one in four in the rural part of India is unemployed, which means at least 25% unemployment in the rural area. In all these mess up, only two sectors used to provide the jobs to the people, and one sector is of course the Indian IT industry or ITES industry. By, by, by the way, those who do not know, ITES stands for Information Technology Enabled Services. And second is the startup. What is the scene of the startup? You all know. It is Zomato, 500, Swiggy, around 1100, Ola, 1400, Uber India, 600, Uber US, three times, at least two times I remember. Then you have Book My Show, it is around 250. Now we got a news uh, about uh, Make My Trip, which is 350. Home Credit, around 1800. And the list is very long. The list is quite long. So the startup India story is now falling. And in 2018, when I raised this voice, I was criticized not only in India, but also in Singapore. And now the same people are either jobless or they don't have the work because they don't have the funding. That's pretty clear. Now the moral of the story is, which is also very clear, that sooner or later these startups needs to decide one thing crystal clear. 
either profitability or sales and you know that reaching profitability is never been easy target for any organization because if you do valuation valuation game then reaching reaching profitability is not easy we all knew about that second is the indian it company and indian it companies have started cutting the jobs across the board but today i'm not discussing the jobs rather i am discussing something which is more severe than jobs and that is business what would you are cutting the jobs and what would if the business that comes to you is also not coming so let me take a halt here and the credit of the entire story has to go to amazon no doubt about that amazon started e-commerce somewhere in 1990s from book selling slowly 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 after 30 years of effort today amazon reached at a level except airplane they selling everything you ask they sell and we know that even before chinese coronavirus there was well heated debate on the social media that whether these big retail stores across india singapore europe us still sustain or not in fact guys if you look at the google you get to know that 10 retail brands closed only in singapore in 2019 and 2019s was not having any coronavirus we know that coronavirus originally came in 2020 in different parts of the globe so no one can say that in 2019 there was any impact of pandemic or coronavirus definitely not it collectively means that if in 2019 these retail stores were cutting the jobs or cutting their business or moving to e which is electronic retail right rather than having big showrooms huge facility cost it means that the same would continue in 2020 in fact the gravity would be more severe because now you need to take an impact of coronavirus also which was not there in 2019 but guys, we do not know that these big retail players outsource their jobs to Indian IT companies. Note the word outsource. And as usual, I came with the data. You know that whatever I substantiate, I always came with data. But before, let me put a halt here. Today, Three pleasing news to me. My favorite IT company founded by someone who said that, you know, I'm not worried about the awards. What I'm worried at 3 a.m. in the morning, someone calling me and saying that Steve, the product you made is awesome. That's an award for me. And this gentleman never received any awards, rather he passed to his team. And result, when he left, Apple was one trillion dollar company. And today is a big day for Apple because Apple touched two trillion benchmark. Apple is very close to the two trillion dollar valuation company. Highly profitable company very good volume of sales, excellent products on the board and more importantly, 2 trillion valuation. I'm not sure whether Ramco is still 2 trillion valuation or not because here I'm not sure because previous to Apple it was Aramco who touched 2 trillion but I'm not sure about Aramco but Apple today I saw it is 2 trillion so it's a hats off. About me I tell later the another two an effective 2007 i am raising a serious concern on the indian it companies that if we add the total sale of apple with the total volume of indian it companies which is tcs scl wipro and infi they stand nowhere they stand absolutely nowhere in fact, none of the Indian IT company having any capability to produce the products like Apple. 
because we believe in body shopping business the guys even in cloud compounding even in cloud compounding the way nadella headed microsoft awesome this man made cloud compounding in microsoft just like i even even can assume that mr gates have never thought about that performance what this guy delivered excellent china versus india issue is separate but the way alibaba leap ahead it in cloud awesome to jack ma no doubt about that and we cannot close the discussion until we talk about the google cloud so these three guys google cloud microsoft and amazon sorry uh, alibaba they just made it amazon started well but amazon not been able to take at that level that is unfortunate for amazon but still if we talk about top 4 player of clouds in the globe it's google microsoft amazon and alibaba why we don't have indian it companies here why we don't have infi here why we don't have wipro here why we don't have tcs why we don't have hcl is it the bandwidth of the people guys every organization i'm talking whether it is wipro infi tcs and hcl they are they are having thousands of people on the board thousands of people on the board they not short of money they have cash in their balance sheet but why they not end up as a cloud player of the globe i don't understand and now there is a problem because of this cloud world the everything is going e electronic and when everything is going electronic do i need a back office operation just think about it and let me substantiate with numbers Indian IT companies are likely to face more pain crippled by covid-19 pandemic US and global retail chains are increasingly filing for the voluntary bankruptcies retail is the largest vertical for Indian IT companies after banking financial services and insurance which is known as also known as BFSI am i clear In 2019-20, which is also known as fiscal year 20, the top five Indian IT companies derived around 14% of their overall revenue from this vertical. 14.14. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought in unprecedented issues for retail industry, which would trigger significant technological spend cut. In this fiscal year. the top 5 it companies are likely to see revenue growth headwinds in the range of 100 bips to 600 bips according to the brokerage firm and the name of the brokerage firm is bob caps it means that the revenue of the indian it companies will lose from 1% to 6% but my my story is not yet over amongst large caps wipro has the highest exposure to retail vertical which is around 16.3% followed by infi which is around 15.4% and tata consultancy services tcs around 15.1% among mid caps mindtree is around 20.3% according to the us and canadian bankruptcy court filings reviewed by business standard jc penny 6.7 billion neiman marcus 1.6 million and eldo group 0.4 million own 8.7 million around 65.5 crores to tcs it means these companies are already bankrupt and they need to pay to tcs because they must have taken some services from the tcs okay in short the chances of a foreign firm recovering fully recovering full dues in chapter 11 bankruptcies are slim however the us enacted chapter 15 uh, of the bankruptcy code as of the 2005 bankruptcy abuse and this this and so on so forth it is to noted that js penny and neiman marcus have filed chapter 11 bankruptcies while canadia based aldo group at filed for chapter 15 and so on so forth now it is clear 
that Indian IT companies account for 14% of their revenue from retail. 10 retail players closed in 2019 in Singapore. These big retail players are closing in US and Europe. Just open Google before commenting on this video and see how many retail shops, retail players closed, how many stores in this 2020. Do I need the back office operation? That's reality. If 10%, 14% is a big number, assuming 10% of the revenue of the Indian IT companies would wash out due to this what is going on, then how many job cuts would happen? And guys, before I conclude this video, note another problem. This is the revenue breakup of the top 5 IT firms <coughs> on an average. BFSI, Banking Financial Services contribute around 28%, Retail contributes 14%, Manufacturing contributes 12%, Telecom 10%, High Tech 10%, Healthcare 9%, Energy and Utilities 6%, Others 11 BFSI All the leading banks of the globe are taking the BFSI facilities in their own hand. Do I need to tell you what JP Morgan is doing in BFSI? Do I need to tell you what Standard Chartered doing in BFSI? HSBC doing in BFSI and list is pretty long. So the moral of the story is after retail do these big banks need any IT player in BFSI when they can handle themselves? So just look at that. You know what happened? The problem in the Indian mindset, I again repeat, is the analytical abilities. We really don't want it to use our analytical abilities. We forget it one thing that the data analytics is more important. Reading business newspaper is more important. And more than reading business newspaper, comprehending from that newspaper and understanding what is going on is more important. We completely forget it that. And I'm damn sure that out of 100, assuming 100 people watch this video, 99 never thought about this is the sink. So next time, if you look that why Apple is a $2 trillion company, just look at Apple Watch, their latest iPad Pro, which is we are buying very soon, their iMac, their iPhones, and a lot of stuff. Next time if you look that Indian IT companies are firing, just see that is this kind of information is available or just media is saying that Indian IT companies are firing. Why firing? They themselves do not know why firing. Infosys is flattening the organization, I agree. It is your organization, you flatten it, you lengthen it, your part. But why? Why you want it to flatten now? Cognizant is cutting thousands of jobs. Why? Are we getting the answer of why in the media? You will soon get an answer. This is what we wanted to bring. Today is definitely a great day for Trishy Consulting because my favorite company in IT is $2 trillion valuation. Thanks to Steve for setting a very strong foundation of Apple. Trishy Consulting launched online Trishy Club, which is known as Trishas. Our destination to be to initiate a product like TEDx has started. As soon as the coronavirus is open, treasurers will start having the physical sessions that my shows. Fixed income platform is amongst 
one billion platforms of the globe you can check on alexa and more importantly 20th june the app is coming so just assume that after 20th june our bot julia fixed income platform treasury clubs and app before i close i thank you to steve for his golden words throughout his life that product is what that matters the value you add in the product defines your organization and i thank you to steve that treasury consulting is following his great advice that we are launching product after product in 2018 we launched fixed income platform in 2019 we launched julia our part in 2020 we expanded fixed income platform and now our app and as usual this is not the last thing we are going to get to so i thank you steve for that and more products are on the cards and i assure you that this app will bring a lot of changes in the world of technology banking financial institutions private equity and hedge funds rest assured have a great time as you know that treasury consulting group is a singaporean multinational headquartered group and we are heading as a bank in london next year having said that there are lot of new things that are coming in the market because of our bank but we our bank would also include a desk which is investment banking desk and treasury consulting would be covering almost everything in in investment banking and that too with and without technology in that regards we on an often note now onwards would be shooting many videos covering various aspects of investment banking in the public domain on youtube and our tiktok channel having said that these videos will not be comprehensive understanding of the investment banking i hope you understand that everything cannot be put in the public domain and especially when the world is thankless when people love watching our videos but they don't have 5 seconds to click the like button and put a good comment on that but still we keep moving having said that treasury consulting effective march starting designing of multiple trainings practical implementation of the various aspect of investment banking including the broker crossing networks which is shortly known as bcn Treasury Consulting would be the first company who would not only be listing all aspect of the investment banking as a training, practical, or implementation. Rather, I assure you that by the time this year, which is December 2019, concludes, Treasury Consulting would have multiple videos covering most of the aspect of the investment banking. Some may in detail, some might not be in detail. I hope you understand. Everything cannot be made public. Plus. one important thing which treasury consulting investment bank would have in their in uh, once we go to launching in london next year is that we go to be linking investment banking with the trade finance desk you know that treasury consulting is having extreme and exceptional understanding of the trade finance products like sblc bg dplc subordinate bonds and what not including the swift architecture we going to be linking our investment banking desk with the trade finance desk and we going to let you know about lot of things which most of the people don't with this we definitely thank you very much you know my mobile number which is plus 91 <coughs> plus 91 you know i my second number which is plus 91 so i repeat 9899924278 9818485155 you're welcome to visit our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global and we assure you that in next 30 days which is by 30th or 31st march whatever more than more than any other in the any other 
we are going to be launching a very exceptional investment banking academy and that too via Treasury Consulting Investment Bank. Have a great time.